show you how you can DIY your own rub and buff. It's gotten very popular over the last little bit, but it's really expensive to buy those little tubes and you're limited to only the color that you've bought that little tube in. So I'm gonna show you today how you can make it in a variety of different colors really affordably and you can transform your DIY projects with it. The first thing that you're gonna need is some shoe polish. Now I picked this up off of Amazon. I like using the clear, but you can also get different colors that would add different textures and different looks to your DIY um, buff. I'll put the link to that down below in the description. You're also gonna need some mica powder. Mine were almost gone, so I just bought a new pack so I could show you all the different colors. We've got gold and different hues of silver and some black and white. All of this can be turned into DIY rub and buff. You're gonna need a surface to mix it up, a little spatula, uh, a mixing tool, and a little container to keep your rub and buff in after you've made it. And you're gonna need a couple little rags. So you can also find shoe polish in different colors. I actually found this in the clearance rack at our drugstore and it is black and you can add um, some, maybe some silver metallic that would be really neat with this. Now this is more of a cream, um, but it will still work to mix up and turn into a rub and buff. And this one is more of a brown color. Um, you just get different looks with different shades of the shoe polish. For today, we're just gonna use the clear. So you're gonna take, and there's not really a set um, recipe for this. You're just gonna mix it until you get the color that you like. I'm gonna be using this gold mica powder and we're just going to incorporate it into the shoe polish and just mix it until you think you've got the color that you like. And it's as simple as that. And you can mix and match different colors and put it together until you're happy with it. see I've got this batch finished. I used about half of the mica powder out of this little vial and you can just mix it until it's completely incorporated and then I have these little containers. You can put it in the container and you can store it for when you're ready to use on your DIY project. So I have this vase that I painted with some baking soda paint and I'm going to show you what it looks like when you add some of this rub and buff. Now you can use your fingers too, um, but I'm just using the little rag just to show you what it does. And it's just leaving a really beautiful shimmer on your project and you just rub it up and down. It's gonna go into all of those little nooks and crannies and leave that shimmer. It's just beautiful. It's just subtle. If you want it to be more, you can add more of that mica powder or metallic powder if you have um, and just fool around with it. I'm gonna work away at finishing this face and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm all finished. And it's given it a really beautiful shimmer just with that DIY rub and buff. I've also got a chalk painted wine bottle and I'm just gonna show you what it does on a white surface. Again, we're just gonna get our little cloth and just rub it in. And of course, this is rub and buff. So the more that you rub it, the shinier it's going to be, the more sheen you're going to get, you're gonna have beautiful results. So you can see the gold shimmer that it's given to this chalk painted bottle. And you it goes a long way. You don't need very much, just work it in. And then when you set it aside and let it dry, the um, wax from the shoe polish is going to harden up and be a durable finish. Isn't that beautiful? Just gives it a little, you can see from here, there's some there and it's the difference. I also have this old metal, um, I think it's 
brass that I found in the scrap metal bin and I was working away on it too. And this is has nothing on it. And I started working away on this side and look at the shimmer and the shine that it's brought up in that brass. I'll do a piece here so you can see the difference. And it just gives it a really nice shimmer and cleans it all up. Of course, this is not gonna be food safe, so you don't wanna do it on anything that you're going to be serving food on. Um, this is for decor only. If you appreciate a good DIY project, you need to subscribe to Skillshare. If you've ever had any questions or just wanna learn more about crafting, then Skillshare is the place for you. Skillshare is an online video-based platform where you can learn anything from photography to calligraphy. And the difference between Skillshare and YouTube and why I like it so much is it focuses on interaction, much like being in the real life classroom. The instructor lays out steps and information in a way that's easy to comprehend. It's also ad free, so you can stay in the zone while exploring new skills. With new classes being launched every week, there's always something new to discover. I just finished taking Bronwyn's upcycling class and it was so much fun. I've learned a few new upcycling skills thanks to her class. So you should join Skillshare and learn a new skill. The first thousand people to use the link on my description box will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So try it out and let me know what you think. I'm gonna mix up a small batch just to show you the difference with the different colors. Uh, we're going to add some silver into this one. Incorporate it all together. There, and I've just mixed up a little tiny batch. Going to add a little bit more of that mica powder. Incorporating it right in. And I have a flower pot that I'm going to test this color on. This is one that I've picked up at the thrift store. We're just going to use our little rag and just rub it in. And it just sits in those little nooks and crannies and looks fantastic. Just gives it some depth and some sheen. So that's using a little bit of a darker shoe polish. And then I also have the black. So let's mix up some of the black and put it beside this one and we'll test the two together. This is the cream shoe polish. I'm just gonna squeeze some out. We don't need very much white. Let's do that one. Let's see what kind of a shimmer we get with it. Oh, this one's really nice. This one might be my favorite. It just takes a little bit of time to rub it in and get it all in all those little corners. But look at that, isn't that beautiful? So we've got the brown, we've got the black, and then we tried the clear. So perfect recipe to make your own DIY rub and buff. I hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. Thanks for watching. And if you love this video, I'm sure you'll love either of these next two. Take care.